And neighbors helping neighbors in many cases. Also the theme of a report tonight from News 3's David Douglas. David? And uh, Eric, when you see the size of these snow piles, the next thing that crosses your mind is probably help, please. This is one of our photographer's cars. We're going to see what we can do to clear this one off here as we go through our story. But it's neighbors helping neighbors. There are a scene that repeated itself house after house, street by street, all across our area today. For a kid, a snow day is pure joy. For grown-ups, it's something else entirely. We're moving all the snow from my house and driveway and my neighbor's driveways. Not far from Mammoth Trail in Madison, a mammoth task digging out what we're guessing is a car. So they do a great job of clearing the roads and packing cars in. I heard the truck coming to move all the snow away, but my car got stuck before I could even move it. Chaji Yang is one of the lucky ones. Her car may be encased in snow, but her neighbors are right there with her, digging it out. This young lady needed a hand, and there's a lot of neighbors that helped us this week, too, and or today, and the least we can do it is share Share the love. I'm very thankful for them for helping me because if I did this by myself, it would take forever. <laughs> Before we move on, you can almost tell what she drives. Countless cars across town got stuck in the snow. Got her. And countless helping hands saved the day. Yeah, he made a part way in and obviously it was hopeless to continue. So uh, fortunately he didn't get real far in. So the back out was still possible. We all go over in our block and help each other out and dig out. So it was a community effort on, in our neighborhood here in Verona. In the end, none of it is really too tough to handle, but it's still the kind of day that might make you wish you were a kid again. I had a few flashbacks to growing up, but no, I had to work. Okay, so in just a couple minutes, we made a pretty big difference here, but here's the deal. If your car isn't out yet, you're going to want to go ahead and maybe get it out tonight because as the temperature drops and all this starts to ice over, it's going to be much harder to get this out. You can see it gets the heart rate up for sure, and with the wind chill, you're not going to want to be out here tomorrow morning. Boy, it's going to be a lot of work for a lot of folks. Great to see the neighbors chipping in. If you find Canalti's car back there, I think he's been here for three straight days, so it might be buried under something. I think it's under that pile over there, Eric, and I'm not <laughs> going to get that one out. Well, good luck to you guys out there tonight. David Douglas, outside tonight in our lot. David, thanks a lot.